nearly 25 years, my family lived in Assembly. My childhood bus stop for Abington High School was right at the corner of Clover Lake School, right outside the door of this building. My childhood playground was this campus. It was the duck pond, the tennis courts, the wooden paths that moved throughout the campus. So for me, this place actually is home. Now, I graduated from college a long time ago, 1987. And that was the era of YA. And yes, I went, but that's a different story for a different day. Uh, big hair, which I did not ever have. The breakfast club that I watched with my friends religiously. And we saw things like the Cold War, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. And in the Middle East, the first Intifada, the Tiananmen Square protests, the bombing of Pan Am at one of the grave with the solar innocence. Ronald Reagan was president, and you may remember that his wife Nancy coined that, uh, that wonderful phrase, just say no, which I'm sure will bring to our It's really hard for me to believe that a quarter century has passed since I sat in the seats. And I have to confess to you, the only thing I can remember about my commencement speaker, who was a recording of the Philadelphia Orchestra, was his absolutely magnificent hair. And while the students here won't remember this, some of you in the back line, if you remember, you will know why I was absolutely enthralled in that room. What I do remember about that day so vividly, and really about that entire time in my life, was that sense of impending doom. I was scared. I was scared to leave school, scared of entering the real world. What was I going to do with my life? How was I going to make it? And did I have the stuff to really make it in the real world in my life? So I have to tell you, being so close to my childhood home, I can't help but think about my parents and our family. And as, as a child growing up here as a young adult, my house was the place where my friends would come to me. And that was because my parents were very willing to stir up a very copious amounts of something I do not mean beer, I do not mean vodka. What my parents were willing to serve were very heavy doses of advice. They gave life advice, career guidance, personal encouragement. They were wise and they were willing to share. And that's why my friends came to our home and relied on them. They say you have to remember where you came from to be a success in life. And this place that we're in now has meant so much to me and has grounded and inspired me for so much of my life. And it's that foundation for me in that sense of home that really inspired me as I thought about what I wanted to say to you on this auspicious morning. So I want to share with you some of what my mom and dad taught me and my brothers when we were where you are right now. Now, in the interest of time, and knowing that I'm the only thing standing between you and your diploma, I'm only going to give you three life lessons and just talk briefly about each one. Number one is great. Gratitude. You said another way, work hard and have a positive attitude. Number two, give back generously in time, in energy, and when you can someday, you will be able to in money. And number three, believe in yourself. So, really, if you're counting, some of you probably are, it's five lessons rolled into three. But I'm a lawyer, and that's what we do.